I have been here for less than two weeks. I have been starved out. Felt up. Teased. Stalked. Threatened and called Taylor Swift. Orange is the New Black may or may not be one of the hottest TV shows out right now, not to mention the fact that it's on Netflix totally makes it the perfect excuse to lay in bed and watch an entire season in one sitting. But there are a few secrets behind the hit show that might surprise even the biggest fans. So without further ado, we're rounding up 16 things you didn't know about the show and its perfect cast. Let's kick things off with the opening credits because that only seems appropriate. Most people know that the song is by Regina Spector and was made exclusively for the show, but did you know that when the faces start flashing on screen, several of those actually include the real life Piper Kerman, whose book was the basis for the whole series? This next one drove me a little insane for a while, but then I had a full on epiphany when I finally figured it out. Have you ever found yourself wondering why Yoga Jones sounds so familiar? Sure, newbie. Well, prepare to have your mind blown because guess what? Yoga Jones is, wait for it, Patty Mayonnaise from Doug. Yeah, I know. It got canceled, isn't it great? But Doug isn't the only weird connection that Orange is the New Black has to our childhoods. Did you know that the show's creator, Junji Cohen, also was responsible for writing an episode of not only The Fresh Prince, but also Gilmore Girls? Next up, we've got two familiar faces that you may recognize. First off, I'm not sure if any of you watched the Nickelodeon show Caitlin's Way, but I definitely did. And if you did, you might realize that bam, here she is 14 years later playing the bartender that Larry drowns his sorrows to in episode seven of season one. I'm buying you a drink. Uh, margarita? Okay. <laughs> Now for a more recent cameo. I don't know if any of you have been keeping up with the new Disney spinoff, Girl Meets World, but you might recognize Sabrina Carpenter in this Alex Voss flashback. Real Adidas have three stripes, not four. Your shoes are bobos. So? So your mom shops at Payless. But the actors getting FaceTime on the show weren't the only guests on set. The number five thing you didn't know is that Academy Award winner Jodie Foster directed not one, but two episodes. The first was the one where we learned the backstory of Laverne Cox's character, and then she later returned to direct the first episode of season two. But wait, speaking of Laverne Cox's backstory, did anyone else wonder how they were able to make her pre-transition scenes look so realistic? Cause I definitely did, and then my mind was blown when I found out it was actually her real life twin brother. And while we're on the topic of siblings, did you know that Pablo Schreiber, aka Pornstache, is half brothers with Leave Schreiber in real life? Weird and totally random, but totally true. Next up on our list is also super random, but it just seems necessary while we're discussing the show's lovely guards. Turns out Matt McGorry, who plays John Bennett, has some skills beyond acting. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But Matt is not the only cast member to have some hidden talents. Two of my personal favorites, Tasty and Crazy Eyes, are actually friends in real life, and they can sing. But what were the other members of the cast doing before totally taking over our living rooms? Well, Jackie Cruz, aka Flocka, you know, the one with the eyeliner. Yeah, well, she was obviously spending her time making cameos on Courtney and Chloe Take Miami. And you know Lord Disick was not too upset about that one. Anyway, next up on the list are some very creative allusions to some of the cast members' past projects. I mean, I already got really excited when I saw that it was basically an American Pie reunion with Natasha Lyonne and Jason Biggs, even though they don't ever have any scenes together. But lucky for us, that's not the only time this cult classic came up. You know everything about me, I, I tell you everything. The webcam horror. The penis shaving incident. I'm pretty sure we never would have forgiven the writers if they didn't take advantage of that reference. But another one that could not go unnoticed was by the absolutely amazing Kate Mulgrew, AKA Red. You may remember her as Captain Catherine Janeway on Star Trek, you know, because she was on the show for six years, but it just makes this line absolute perfection. Why'd you choose learn and run for whack and not me? You're questioning my decisions. 
Only in the most respectful way you could possibly imagine. I just... I thought it was like your Spock. <laughs> My what? Here's another quick Easter egg. Have you ever noticed that every single time Piper's on the phone, this crying woman can be seen somewhere in the distance? Yep, not lying. Check it every single time. Next up, remember that flashback where we saw Natasha Lyonne's character post heart surgery? Plot twist, turns out the scar is 100% real and is actually from when Natasha had surgery back in 2012. Next up, we have another cameo, but this time it's of the literary variety. The highly anticipated release date for season two happened to be the exact same day as the release for the film adaptation for The Fault in Our Stars, so naturally they featured the book in an episode. Even inmates like a good love story, you guys. Next up, did you know that Laura Prepon didn't even originally audition for the role of Alex, and apparently she actually read for Piper? But according to the show's creator, Prepon was just a little too tough, and we agree. I'm not sure she could have pulled that off. Now this last one has to do with another show that we just could sit and binge watch for hours on end. I do. Yes, we're referring to Law & Order SVU. We've got Red, we've got Gloria, we've got Watson, we've got Healy, Pornstash, Big Boo, Nichols, Pensatucky, even V. Seriously, pretty much every castmate has been featured at least once within those 15 seasons. Well, that wraps up our 16 things you didn't know about Orange is the New Black. I hope this video helped suppress some of your withdrawals, as I know I personally have been struggling to cope with life since I finished season two. Leave us a comment below and let us know which secret was your fave. And while you're here, click right here because we ranked 11 of our favorite TV couples. And don't worry guys, Alex and Piper get honorable mention. Until next time, I'm Lily Marsden. Thanks for watching.